Hello, a quick demonstration on the ILI 9488 GLCD capability for great car pacing. Welcome. Uh, what is the ILI 9488? It's a large um, GLCD screen, a pixel uh, color screen. I'll look at the details and we've just implemented it. So what is it? It's a RGB 65K color device, three and a half inches. Um, size is 480 by 320. Now, not all of them that size. Some of them are different sizes. I think the one I've got here is a, a three, must be 240 by 320. Uh, SPI interface, critical things are the operating voltage. The power voltage can, between 3.5 and 5 volts, but the logic must be 3.3. Uh, anything else that the, the screen won't operate. Uh, let's have a look at what we can do. We can do primitives, text, pictures, compressed and uncompressed. I'm going to show you some quick demos. All these are installed inside of your installation. So let's get into some code and have a look what we've got on the screen. I've got the GLCD. It's currently doing some stuff and it's got on the screen there text, numbers, circles, squares, all manner of things. Well, all I'm going to do is just reprogram that. And this is one of the standard demonstrations that you can get. And it's called uh, load picture, um, simple demonstration, sorry, simple demonstration, SPI. And it... It will show you what you can do in terms of the primitives. It shows you how to do text, how you print stuff on the screen, how you change the colors, etc. Look at that. It's always a good resource. At the top of the um, code, it will show you how to sh set up the SPI. And the SPI is very simple to set up. But as you can see on the screen, it's happily doing what it was doing previously. So let's cut some of our own code for a minute. We're going to do hello world. Um, essentially, you can assume that I've set up the SPI and all I want to do is just do the hello world demo. And I'm just going to take uh, some standard coding and just say the font size I want is two. I want to put some uh, print, something called hello world on the screen at an XY position of 1010 in the color black. Uh, do the same again, but in the color uh, red and a slightly different position and fill a circle. And for that, we can, um, it will do it. It will just simply put that on there because we have specified that we're using the ILI 9488 library. And I'll show you how to do that in this piece of demonstration code. It will now put that on the screen on the side look. Isn't that typical? Let me just... Uh, Pop that over so you can see it. There we go. Hello world again. And so how do we do that in the code? Relatively simple. We include the GLCD library. We tell it the GLC type, which is GLC type ILI 9488. And then we set up the SPI. Once you've set up the SPI, which includes the data line, the uh, chip select lines, resets, and data out and data in lines, and the clock line, you're operational. And that's it. It's extremely simple to set up once the library is installed. Um, and that was it. I mean, that's just, you know, we've seen two demos and we've created the Hello World demo very simply. Uh, you just type it in, anything in blue is, is standard. Let's do some pictures. Um, some pictures, um, there is a way of doing pictures. I've written the two routines for you that were in the demonstrations. Uh, and these are called draw compressed table data and draw table data. And one is compressed and one is not compressed. And I'll show you how to create those tables in a moment. Relatively simple. Um, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. So what we've got inside of our um, software, we can press function key F4 type in image and then take image converter and it will open up the image converter. Let me open up the image converter for you by just changing the screen slightly. There we go. That's the image converter. And I've already preloaded. There was a picture loaded. Um, we can very quickly just uh, save that out. I'll just save that one out just to show you the process. I'm just going to replace what I had. I'm going to go back into my program. And I'm going to compile 
that up. And essentially, um, it's going to put the smiley face on the screen for us. It's going to create suck in the table uh, that has just been created by that utility. It's going to import it and then put the color codes on the screen in the right position. What I'll do is I'll change that to another, there we go. I'll change it to another image and then we can actually look at that in a bit more detail. I'm going to open up an image called RGB. RGB.png, it's a block of color. It's quite, and I just created this a few minutes ago. And what you can do in this utility, you can reduce the size of it, um, you can compress it, uh, etc. You can do different things. I just need to make it a lot smaller because that will not fit on that screen because that is raw. That is just over 512,000 bytes. And that won't fit, will it? So let me just make that 100 pixels wide. It's made it a lot smaller. Um, I've got uh, ways of saying whether I want to compress it or not. I don't. I can do it in RGB 565 or 666. Well, this is BRG 666. That is this type of screen. It's the only one that I've come across, but it's a BRG 666. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to replace the existing smiley face table which you can't quite see, but I'm going to go back into my code and press function key F5 and compile it. And all it's doing now is you're running the same routine with a different set of data. And what does that data look like? We'll have a look in a moment once, it, once it's put it on the screen. It's found the chip. It's taken up 43%. It's quite a large picture, but we're going to make it a bit smaller in a moment. There we go. Picture on the screen. And what does that data look like? It looks like this. It's just color codes, all the color codes. And that's quite a lot of data. So what you can do inside the image converter, you can actually compress that data. So if I come back into the image converter and compress it, taking it down to just uh, well, about 1896 bytes, and all I'm going to do is save that as compressed data, replace my table. Let me just show you me doing that. Uh, you can't. Here we go. I'll just replace that. So what I've done now is I've got a table that is much, much smaller. It's actually, uh, as I just said, it's only um, 21,000 bytes. So it's quite a smaller file compared to what we had before. In our program. I just need to change it from the compressed routine to the, un uh, it was on the uncompressed routine. I've now got compressed data and I'm going to compile that up. Function key F5. And what the table now is a lot smaller and it will just put it on the screen because it has been optimized using a sliding window algorithm. So we can design ourselves up a um, picture. Oh, I'll just use PowerPoint because I'm a bit of a king in PowerPoint. Here we go in PowerPoint. Bit of a king in PowerPoint. Here we go. Um, let's just take some circles. And fill that with red. Fill that one with green, see if I can do it properly, fill that one with blue, take a copy of that uh, picture using screen snip, I've now got that on the screen as you can see, I'm just going to save that file, I'm going to save it as RGB, and back in my utility that I've been showing you, I'm going to reload that file called RGB. Some circles. It's currently 440 bytes, uh, pixels wide, too wide. I'll make it, um, I'm going to guess, 150. Let's see if it, there we go. 
Um, I'm going to save that straight away. So I've got it on compressed BRG666. Save it as RGB. Save. I'm only using the same.h file just for the speed of coding here with you. And now I'm going to recompile that. If only I could get back into my editor, multiple screens. And we'll see that we've just changed the picture very easily. Just compiling it up. I'll give you a code side in a moment. That um, codes 38% of the chip used. I think optimization of the color coding would help. Just loading it into the microcontroller. Why is that color wrong? That's the color converter. Con that's the color converter that needs looking into, not the GLCD. Okay, so um, the green has come through as blue for some reason. That's just a coding problem, you know, I would imagine, inside of um, the application I was using. Let me just. Uh, I can't. I haven't got time to go into that at the moment. So what I wanted to show you was a new capability from Great Car Basic, the ILI 9488. Enjoy.